Sneak Linux back again. Okay, you may have seen earlier, I've done the video on Simplicity Linux Desktop 35.1. Well, I thought, you know what I ain't done for a while? Bit of an install, have I? Okay, so I've loaded it up in the box for you. That's the box being little box. Okay, I'm going to install it for you. It doesn't matter if you do it in the box or on a hardware install. If you've never done it before and you really fancy doing it, this is the way to do it. It's also basically the same as all pups at the end of the day. It just looks a little bit different, okay? We're going to do a full install and we're going to do our departed our disk and everything. Now, many moons ago, it was a longer process, but now it's a lot quicker, and I'm going to show you how, okay? So I'm going to go up here, Applications menu, and I'm going to go to System, and we're going to find, uh, where are we? No, we go to Utility, sorry, was it System Utility? Oh, I forgot now. Oh, here we are. We go to the Puppy Universal Installer, okay? So we click there, and we're going to install it onto our internal hard drive, because it's an internal hard drive, of course. We click OK. That's the size of my hard drive. I've just given it six gigabyte because it's just for demonstration purposes only, okay? For demonstration only. We click OK. We wait for this stuff. Now, I've not actually partitioned my hard drive, okay? So we want to run Gparted, don't we? So let's run it. Run Gparted. Now, have a little think about it. Yeah, 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 we know all about that. Don't worry about that. Just watch what I'm doing, okay? But there's nothing allocated at the moment. So if you get this little triangle come up, you need to go... Click there to highlight it, go to device and create partition table, and then apply. Okay? And it'll do a little bit of stuff like then. And we're done. We've actually done a bit of stuff there already. Now I'm going to give it a bit of a home folder. Sorry, I'm going to give it a working folder and I'm going to also give it some swap. So you highlight it again, we right click and we click on new. Now I'm going to resize this a little bit. If we go down like so, so I'm going to give myself around about 500 swap, okay? Well, I'm not doing that bit yet. I'm going to make a primary partition, an XT, EXT3, and we add. And there's our bit of swap we're going to do. So we right click again, we click on new, we click here again, and then we use that as a Linux swap. We then go to add, okay? And we want to do that then. We click the little thing up there that says apply all operations and go apply. Now, all depends on your hard drive and your system we're using. This can take a little while or a long while, but meaningly it just takes like that long. It doesn't take any longer than that. So we can close that now. And now our hard drive is partitioned. It's just checking it for us now. There we go. Now, watch what I'm doing now. I'm going to right click my SDA1, as you can see, and I'll go down to manage flags. Because I'm going to use Grub for DOS as the boot manager here. So we're going to make this one bootable. So just click boot there and close it. And now that drive is bootable from Grub for DOS. Okay, you can use Grub Legacy, it should work okay, but I'm just showing you a different way of doing it for a change. Right, we have now partitioned our drive. Okay, we're back to the installer. That's the way it does that now. We didn't used to do that before, we used to go and do it all separately, but now it's all in one process. So that's my hard drive. Okay, we'll click the ticky box and we just wait for it to come up. And it is. It's found out. We're going to install our puppy to SDA1. That's the baby, isn't it? We click there. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's what we want to do. Yeah. We click OK again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I say, yeah, yeah. Right. So you get two choices. So you can do a frugal install or a full. Now, I'm not going to worry you with a frugal at the moment. I'm just going to go straight for a full. OK. So we click a full. And that's it. It's copying our files over. Now, basically, this is where you sit back. Have a cup of tea, a couple of biscuits, you know, a couple of rich tea biscuits in your tea, a little dunking going down. Or you may want to pick up a magazine or whatever. It all depends on how fast your machine is, how old it is, how knackered your hard drive is, if you're doing it through USB or whatever. It can take a long while or a little while. But in this instance, it's really only going to take us, I say, around about a minute. So basically, you've got to listen to me moaning at you for quite a while, really. And talk about things. Yeah. What can I talk about? Oh yeah, I'll, I'll tell you a bit. Simplicity Linux has been going around about three, four years now, and they've improved and improved and improved as they've gone along, as most pup distro makers have. Okay. Also, by the way, before I forget, we've got some new Mac pup stuff coming very, very shortly. I can't tell you much about it. No, no, because I'll get told off. But there is some new stuff coming along. Anyway, we're installing now. I clap my hands. And we're waiting, and we're waiting. So I'm doing this in real time, baby, real time. I'm not cutting anything out, and you're just seeing what we get, which is why it's taking so bleeding long. Okay? Yes. Oh, what is that? No, I didn't show you before. Oh, we're getting there nearly, nearly. Executing our RC update scripts. Okay? 
You know, he's, he's put trash in. How many times have I told you, Dave? It's not trash. It's rubbish. Okay? Rubbish. Rubbish bin. <sighs> I'm, I'm calm now. I'm calm. I'm calm now. I'm calm now. No, okay. I can do this. Basically, all we've got to do now is wait for this to finish doing what it's got to do. And we wait a bit longer. And we wait a bit longer. And we wait a bit longer. That's what. And there we are. Look, we were waiting and waiting and waiting for them, didn't we? God, it took ages. These are the two boxes you was waiting to come up. Now, basically, it's saying where we've got to put your, your boot menu, basically, if you've got grab, if you've got it already installed or whatever. So, don't worry about that. I'm going to show you what to do. So, we'll click OK there. I'm going to close this box here. Here on here. Go to our menu again. If we go down to here, to the system, and grab for DOS bootloader, config, we click on there. OK. Now, bear in mind, remember we made our partition bootable, so you won't get any dodgy questions here. If you actually forget to do it, don't worry, you can just chuck in a live CD and just click boot the drive, basically. But there's our drive we want to boot from, so we highlight that, that's fine, and we click OK. Okay, we wait for that to do its bits. Don't take too long at all, this bit is really quite quick. A bit of drinkage while I'm waiting. Oh, oh, didn't get drinkage near my mouth, did I? God. Okay, fully installed Puppy or have Linux, yes, yeah, that's there. Everything's OK, so we just click OK. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's click OK again, we'll a bit of drinkage there. There we go. Installing Grub for DOS. And we are done. That's all you have to do. All you do now is reboot your machine, boot from the hard drive, and Bob's your uncle, Fanny is your aunt, you're all fully installed and ready to go. I hope that helps ya. Yeah. I've got to go now, it's nearly time for school. Sneaky Linux going out. I'll see you later, bye bye.